Okay, we're gonna have a family practice, Team Connecticut. Put your racket sloppy to the side. Just sloppy to the side like this. And now when I say organize, show me the feet and the hands ready position, organize. All right, now practice, repetition. Racket sloppy to the side. And organize, ready position. Your feet, now stay there, hands away from your body. Elbows raised in this position. Okay, center the racket, center your body. I should be able to drop a basketball, a volleyball, right between his stomach and his hands. Okay, now, the end, you want to have your feet a little closer together so you have a higher center of gravity. If you go too far out like this, you'll see the pros do that on the return of serve, but the toss goes up and they go like this. So a third time, sloppy to the side. You know, you can do whatever you want with the racket. Toss goes up, get organized. All right, now, you at times are hitting a two-handed backhand, so what you would do if you're from the service line back is go in that position. All right, pat yourself on the back. All right, Mira, now what we're going to do is a 42-second workout that you have time for twice a day. All right, ready, position. And you don't even need me to demo, but your hands need to be further away from your body. Slowly, six seconds for each stroke. Turn for the forehand volley. Turn for the forehand volley and freeze. Racket's right out of the corner of your eye. Your elbow's raised. You're going to get down eye level to the shot. And now just step and go forward. Stay there, left arm is out for balance. Body's at a 45 degree angle. Arm is still bent. If the, if the ball was lower, you just would open your racket face. All right, ready position. Hands away from your body. Forehand ground stroke, you're gonna pivot. Check out your backswing. Now, with the way Peter, and you could copy William here, the way you're doing initially, go back here. That's how we'd want advanced players to do it. Now don't add any secret sauce to this, okay? Teaching beginners to do it from here, advanced players, ready, and these players are very much down the road already. Ready position, turn to here first. Okay, now the three-point landing, racket goes down, body goes down, and then you go up. Hold the finish. All right, now, ready position again, okay? You have a forehand grip, your arm is bent. Stay with a 42 second workout. Turn for the backhand volley and freeze. You changed your grip, you straightened your arm. So straighten the arm up here in this position. If you're gonna have a two-handed backhand volley, put your left palm on the racket completely. Now get eye level down to the shot, step and go forward and hold it, hold it. William, don't step so heavy, that's good. All right, ready position. Okay, let's do the one-handed underspin backhand. Ready position, forehand grip. Turn, change your grip, straighten your arm. All right, now you want to turn more than sideways to stay sideways. Lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. Step, show me your contact point. And now show me the finish. Stay there, hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. You've got it. All right, ready position. All right, now turn for the backhand ground stroke. One-handed or two-handed, back to the ready position. Straighten your arm, turn, straighten your arm. Okay, now ready position again. If you don't have the ready position, okay, get your hands away from your body. Be brilliant with basics in this position. Now turn. Let me see, William, that left hand is on the racket. Nope, that's okay, we gotta just keep doing it. Actions form habits. Turn, like look over your shoulder. Again, the underspin backhand, hit and hold. Hit and hold. Okay, that was top spin. Let's do underspin again. Okay, remember, it's gonna be inverted bow. Okay, now turn. All right, now from here, you're gonna let the racket go slightly down and go back up. Very good, turn for the top spin backhand. Let's everybody do one-handed, the one-handed family here. I love one-handed backhands. I don't see too many of them anymore. Okay, it's good, check the grip, swing and body. Now step, show me the racket in the slot. Okay, now go back, ready position. Now both Jacob and William, your step, if you were a baseball player, you stepped on home plate. You have to have a large step and a forward step. Pivot and freeze. Now the pivot means you're gonna be up on this back toe. Up on the back toe, arm straight. Okay, don't hang on the racket so tight. All right, now go down to the slot position where the racket face is closed. All right, now you need to step here. You need to step way out here. You need to step way out here, very good. Now, just come up to the contact point, and then now lift and hold it. ATA, 
All your weights forward, just up on the back toe, up. Stay there, up on the back toe. Now look at the contact point that's way out in front. Look out here. So your head's this way, that position. Great. All right, now, you know the one-handed backhand, you should all be able to do the two-handed backhand. Ready? Put your hands together. It's like a left-handed forehand. Turn. Okay, hold the racket up high. All right, now, step, close the racket face, contact point, and reach up. Stay there on balance. I should be able to come over and push you. One finger, five fingers, and you can stay on balance. Whoa. All right, let's try that again. Two-handed backhand. Turn. Step and swing, and then hold it. All right, guys, correct your feet. You're always, no, I shouldn't say always, but you're stepping to the side. Step straight ahead. All right, excellent. Set the racket up for the overhead. Ready position first. Okay, quickly step back. Left hand's on the racket. Now turn, turn. All right, now go with me on this one. You're going to comb your hair, come around, talk on the telephone, contact point, and then have the racket turn out in this position. All right, now the serve. Start, start with your weight forward. Okay, you've corrected your foot, excellent. Start with your weight forward, now come back. Put all your weight on your back foot. You have knee rotation, you're just slightly up on your toe. Now your hands are together, your left hand's facing the net. Now from here you go up, your weight goes forward as the racket starts to go forward and up. Show me the power line, the contact point. This arm's gonna stay up, up like this, excellent. Now the racket will turn out this way and then finish. All right, very good, now stand up taller. All right, great.